One of the key findings in recent research is a trend that I like to call the democratization of leadership development. And what I mean by this is that we need to make leadership training and education accessible to a broader audience. We need to extend leadership development opportunities beyond the C-suite or what organizations often refer to as their high potentials and offer it to everyone in our organizations and maybe not everyone on the same level, but have learning opportunities related to leadership and leadership development for everybody. Because traditionally, leadership development programs were often limited to a select few within an organization. But as work environments evolve and collaborative problem solving becomes more prevalent, there's a growing recognition that leadership skills are essential for employees at all levels. So here's some key points related to the democratization of leadership development. First, there's a shift from traditional approaches. The problem is that traditional approaches to leadership development no longer meet the needs of organizations or individuals, and there's some evidence that they never fully did. The reasons are that these approaches often fail to teach the soft skills vital for success in today's complex business environment. Additionally, learners may struggle to apply classroom lessons to their actual jobs, leading to a meager return on investment for companies that invest in executive education. So the democratization of leadership development aims to address these gaps by providing more tailored and accessible learning experiences. We also have the Personal Learning Cloud, or PLC. And the PLC refers to the fast-growing array of online courses, interactive platforms, and digital learning tools available. The PLC is transforming leadership development by making it easy and affordable to access personalized, socialized, contextualized, and trackable learning experiences. The need for leadership development has never been more urgent given the volatile, uncertain, and complex business environment that we all operate in. And leadership development should not be restricted just for top executives or just for high potential leaders, because you may be missing potential leaders that haven't shown that potential yet. Employees across the board are increasingly expected to make consequential decisions aligned with corporate strategy and culture. Leadership development professionals use a relational perspective to facilitate collective identification and action on leadership issues. And this approach emphasizes leadership culture. It enables the democratization of leadership development because we're all in this together. We're building relationships as we go. It's not just the boss issuing orders. So as work itself changes, so do the basic tenets of leadership development. Leadership development is transforming, it is changing, and leading people in jobs is evolving, and leadership development must adapt to these changes. So democratizing leadership development involves expanding access to leadership training, emphasizing soft skills, and recognizing that leadership capabilities are relevant for employees at all levels within organization. The goal is to equip individuals with the necessary skills to thrive, in today's dynamic business landscape. So what can you do to ensure that leadership development opportunities are available to everybody in your organization? Not everybody should have the same level of leadership instruction. It should be appropriate to where they are at. It should be customized to who they are and where they're at. But what can you do as a leader in your organization to make sure that every person on your team or every person in your organization, if you're in the C-suite, has access and support and coaching to become the best leader they can possibly be?